Well, I think it's a very important question because for small and medium-sized enterprises, they don't necessarily have all the resources to be able to invest in a CSR policy or a manager or a compliance for the code. And so what I've seen many small companies doing is getting together in uh, coalitions or cooperatives and together uh, they can manage to tackle the CSR agenda more formally. That's one approach. The second one is to um, benefit from some training. There's some very good research that's been done in Mexico that shows that small companies can both improve their CSR performance and continue to grow at roughly 30% a year uh, while having that raised awareness of, of CSR. And the last thing I would say is that for many SMEs, their owner plays a much more crucial role. So making sure that the leader really understands uh, the purpose of CSR and the benefits of being part of the community and, and being seen that your reputation and your brand benefits from being active that can be a very strong uh, force for the SMEs. But in terms of where you start, often for SMEs, they have to look at, are they part of an international supply chain? If they are, there are probably some codes and standards uh, that they have to comply with. If it's SA 8000, it's mainly to do with labor, then you focus on that. If it's ISO 14000, then you focus on the environmental issues. Um, so. Sometimes we say that the, the SMEs practice uh, implicit CSR rather than explicit. In other words, it doesn't have to be formalized. It's more about are they living the principles of CSR, not necessarily formalizing the practices. Mm -hmm.